Mrs. Gerber here with another library lesson. Last class, we learned about the engineering design process and all the steps that are in it. So now we're actually going to be putting those steps in action and doing our own design challenge. You should have received one of these kits from your teacher and remote students. Remember, those were sitting out front for you to pick up at the front of the school. If you did not get it or you don't have a way to get it and pick it up, don't worry about that. Uh, I will be giving you all of the papers, the journal vir virtually, and you can just use materials at home. So we're going to be starting the first three steps today. We won't actually be creating, but we're going to ask, we're going to imagine, and we're going to plan, okay? Those first three steps. And to kick it off, we're going to be reading a biography here of this beautiful book called May Among the Stars. And we're going to be hearing about a girl named May Jemison and why her life was so important. And that's actually gonna kick off our design challenge. Okay, let's go ahead and listen to the story and get started. May Among the Stars, written by Rhoda Ahmed, illustrations by Stasia Burrington. Little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreamers never succeed, but little May was different. One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. What will you tell them, May? I will tell them I want to see Earth. This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forest, and the mountains, we live on Earth. I know, but I want to see Earth from out there. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you have to become an astronaut. That way you can see Earth from space. Astronaut, do you think I could do that? Of course you can. If you can dream it, if you believe it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. May asked her mom to take her to the library. She searched for books about space and astronauts. After dinner, May drew pictures of space and she even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seems impossible. You will find your way, May, because if you dream it, believe in it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. But space is so, so, so far away. It's closer than you think, little May, and you may get there sooner than you think. That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space, surrounded by billions of sparkling stars. Below her, she could see Earth floating and turning like a shining crystal ball. The next morning, May told her parents about her dream. She wanted to tell everyone, and every time she talked about it, her eyes would light up. In the classroom, Ms. Bell told everyone to stand in a line on the rug. Today, we are all going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be and what do you want to do when you grow up? Who wants to go first? I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a teacher, football player. I want to be a mom. I want to go to space. I want to be an astronaut. All the kids started laughing. Ms. Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an astronaut. May felt very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold. Nothing was the way it used to be. At home, May started crying. <laughs> Miss Bell said, I can't become an astronaut. What a silly thing to say, said her mother. <laughs> she told me I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away her tears. My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Of course I believed her. <laughs> She's my teacher. I'm sorry Miss Bell didn't encourage you, but she can't stop you. No one can stop you. 
follow your dream, May, and go to space. Thank you, Mom. I promise when I get to space, I'll wave to you and Dad from the spaceship. Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. You must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, and if I work hard for it, anything is possible. May went on dreaming, believing, and working really hard. And guess what? She went to space and waved to her mom and dad on Earth. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside these kits. So first off, you have your STEM journal here, and your name would go there, May Jemison STEM journal. And let's read the letter here to see what your challenge is. Dear students, you're helping prepare for the launch of the space shuttle Endeavor. Part of your job involves designing the rocket booster to launch the rocket into outer space. In order to create your rocket launcher, you may use any of the materials listed below. To create your rocket booster, you will wrap a strip of construction paper loosely around the straw and tape the rocket to it. One member of your team will sit on the ground and blow into the straw while another team member will measure how high the rocket travels. And unfortunately, we won't have team members. That is all on you for this challenge. Um, now you can see down here what your materials are, and those are all in here for you. So you do have on a piece of cardstock here, you do have the rocket cut out. Uh, there is a piece of full-size construction paper. Uh, you do have a straw and you do have tape. This tape is not the best tape at all. It is teeny tiny. Uh, so you can certainly use other tape, masking tape or clear tape if you have that instead of this because this, this could be used in a pinch. It's definitely not the best. Um, now, you can also use other materials too. You are not locked into only using these. So if you had something else at home you wanted to use, you definitely can do that. Okay, now looking at the second page here, this is where we start going into those steps of the engineering design process. Ask, what is the problem you are trying to solve? So this was right over here. So read that again, and that'll give you the clue of what your task is here. What's your pro problem you're trying to solve here? What you're trying to do with that rocket? And then on to that next stage here, imagine. Imagine the best way to solve the problem on your own. Sketch out your design and brainstorm a list of ideas and think about how will you use your materials or are there other materials that you'll use? How will you get your rocket to travel the farthest distance? What could you do? What possible problems could come up during construction? Okay, could it possibly fall apart as you're trying to get it to launch. And then the last step we're doing today is plan. Sketch out your plan to solve the problem. You have a ton of space here. So you could do just one sketch. Maybe you have, maybe you have multiple ideas, so you're doing multiple little sketches here. And along with this plan, remember to make sure that you are not only drawing it, but also labeling it, labeling what each thing is made out of, so you'll know what materials you need to grab for next time when we actually create, okay? Don't worry about these pages here. We are not actually creating anything yet that's gonna come up with our next lesson here, but we're just taking time today just to really brainstorm and plan it out. And you'll also be able to do this in Schoology as well if you wanted to you know, do your sketching in Notability. So let me go ahead and show you what it will look like in Schoology if you choose to do that. Here I am in the Schoology Library course in the appropriate week and into the appropriate days folder and you can see first the video and then part two here is to submit the completed ask imagine plan pages okay so inside here uh, you can see all my directions here using the stem journal that was in your kit complete the ask imagine and plan parts but if you don't have a kit then use the attached pages that you can edit in notability here they are right in here if you needed them when you're finished take a photo of both pages if you're using the actual pages and um, what you'll do is click the submissions tab right over here 
And then of course you'll see a blue plus sign there for you um, that will say insert photo or video uh, to submit both of those photos to me. And just a reminder, we're completing the Ask, Imagine, and Plan parts only. We are not creating yet. That's going to be coming up next time.